TV is brought to you by X Effect. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from IndustrialRevolution.com. Roger, we started off with version one of Slice X for, from Core Melts, which was hugely popular. And yes. then on our forum and on some comments, we, we saw some people say we'd like to be able to animate the points. Version two came out and you were able to animate the points. And now yes. we're on version three with a very exciting ingredient. Great, yep. What, what we've done is we've licensed the uh, planar tracker from Imagineer Systems called Mocha, which just recently won an Academy Award in the arts and sciences category. So what we're doing is we are bringing a tool which previously has been very high-end to Final Cut Pro editors in a simplified form and for a very, very attractive price point. So first of all, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so here's an example of uh, we're going to color correct her lips and we're going to just drop on the color correct shape mask plugin. And this is all our spline tools, which was in the previous version. So we're just going to do a rough outline around her lips and then turn on keyframing and this is what's new, the track forward and track back buttons. And this is using Mocha's planar tracking technology. So I'll just hit track forwards. Then as soon as that's finished, you'll see it's going to follow her lips pretty well, but we'll have to do a couple of keyframes to compensate for the perspective But it's changes. really as simple as that. You just hit, hit, hit one click and it'll track. Correct. So I'm just going to increase the red, get lower the shape softness down, and play that and you'll have a look at it straight away. And you'll see that it's pretty good, but at the end, it's sliding off a little bit. So to fix that, we just zoom in and go down, add a keyframe here at the end. Now then go back to the start. Go up here, add one keyframe. So you'll see that with just two keyframes, I've managed to compensate and do that whole head turn. I'll just zoom back out again and then play the results. Done. So that, that would have taken at least for half an hour or 40 minutes to manually keyframe. So that's a combination of the tracker following the lips and then the inter interpolation between the keyframes at either end. Correct. Ch changing, changing the shape. Two keyframes is all we needed. The tracker did all the rest of the work. Um, now I'm going to show you another example. What we're going to do is blur the sign on the left because it's distracting from the main action that's going on here. So this time we're going to use blur shape mask. Just drop that on. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see what we're doing here. You can see the edge of frame. And then what I'm going to do is do a new mat uh, just using this time the polygon shape tool around the sign and then hit track forward and what you'll see is that even though the sign is going in and out of frame it follows the shape of the sign perfectly so that's already finished I can play it yeah and you can see that that followed it no problems even when it's going almost completely off screen so that's going to be perfect for something like obscuring number plates or for reality TV where you're not allowed to show logos or anything like that Yep, it's got lots and lots of uses, creative uses, as well as practical uses. Here's another example where what we actually did uh, is got rid of the one of the kite borders here. So we just completely got rid of one of them. I can show you again how simple it is to do that. So if I start from, from the beginning, all I'm going to do is uh, trace around, first of all, add the object remover plugin, which is also part of SliceX. Just trace around with a freeform tool and then track forward. It's not going to take very long. It depends, of course, on the size of the track area and on the, the speed of your machine. And it's a CP, is it a CPU task? Yeah, but it uses all your processes. Right, okay. Okay, now, now when that's finished, what I do is just set the clone area. So I'm going to clone from this area just here and then hit play gone. So it's tracked for motion and then it's cloning from an offset area and you can you can see there's a lot of uses for that kind of thing. Sure I can see by looking at the icons there's a couple of other different um, effects that come in the come in the pack they all use the tracking I would imagine. Correct for example this one here what we've done is cut out the flower and put it over an abstract background 
So that's using the one called um, called Shape Mask Layer, which just lets you use the mask to reveal any layers below. Pricing is it's going to be $99 for two weeks as an NAB special, and then it's going to be $149 and the availability is when it's done, but soon. Right, okay. Only, only a matter of weeks, not months. Okay, and if I'm an existing owner of the plugin? There will be upgrade pricing, but we haven't announced what it will be yet, but it will be a substantial discount over the full price. Okay. Okay, so this is the last example. I'm just gonna show you doing depth of field on this clip here. So in this case, because it's, it's a big, big pan, what you would do is zoom all the way out and create a rough mask of the shape, like, which is much bigger than the screen, and then do the track. But then as you track, as, it, as you then play through the clip, you then correct it as it goes to put in keyframes right. for it. So when the next bit comes into, yeah, comes into you vision, can you, can, right you can alter it. Correct, like that. And the end result is that it tracks the motion and you have a nice depth of field effect, but tracks smoothly with only a few minutes work. Which, trying to do that manually, would take you quite a bit of time. It would take you hours. <laughs> All right, Roger, thank you very much for showing us SliceX. NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com.